by the state attorney general would change the standard for when police can use force. We'll break down what's in the Police Accountability Act also. With temperatures in the 80s the last couple of days, it's been feeling a little bit more like summer and a little bit less like spring. But just how long will the warmth last? I'll have all the details coming up. From WNYT Albany, News Channel 13 Live at 5 begins right now. Good Friday evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Mulholland. Elaine is off tonight. We begin tonight with breaking news in the city of Albany where police say six people were shot this afternoon. Jonathan Hunter has been on the scene all afternoon. He joins us live with what we know right now. Jonathan. Yeah, Mark, it's still a very active scene. There's crime tape up and there are multiple police officers behind me. And I'm going to step out of the frame to give you guys a live look at what's taking place. Steve Smith, a spokesperson for the Albany PD, says all of the individuals shot were men. Five of them showed up at area hospitals. One man was located on the scene suffering from gunshot wounds. We are told that two of the six have serious injuries. There's no word yet on what led to the shooting. And Steve Smith, a spokesperson from the Albany Police Department, just left the scene probably about 20 minutes ago. And he says this is going to be a very long night. So we're going to stay on the scene and give you the latest information when we receive it. Reporting live in Albany, I'm Jonathan Hunter for News Channel 13. Mark? Jonathan, thank you. It's been just over two years since Allison Mack pleaded guilty to racketeering charges in connection with her time with Nexium. Well, we've just learned Mack will be sentenced on Wednesday, June 30th. If the hearing takes too long, the sentence could be announced on July 1st. She faces a, a minimum of 15 years in prison. You'll remember secret.